Coming to you from McDermott Court at MIT, my name is Marsha Bolton and this is ZigZag. MIT is working hard to confront one of the major challenges of our time, the search for clean, affordable, and sustainable energy sources. In this episode of ZigZag, we're going to take a quick look at just a few of the energy-related activities going on around campus. Over at the MIT Museum, October is Energy Month. The calendar is filled with events aimed at helping citizens make informed choices about energy production and use. A few evenings ago, the museum hosted Energy Night for MIT grad students. Energy Night is an event to celebrate the energy community at MIT, and we hope to allow everyone to understand how important energy is at MIT and to understand that they have a community that they belong to and that they can find ways to plug in. Energy Night was designed to really get the whole community psyched about energy, and for years now it's been a huge issue, I think especially since the oil prices have gone up and all that. The issue has really come to the forefront. And this is one way of celebrating it and bringing together all the people across campus who are involved in it. We're here tonight to interact with the community, see if anyone wants a job, and share our technology, get people excited about renewable energy in general. I'm excited about the uh, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. I think the idea of uh, achieving transportation short range via the energy from uh, the sun, say solar powered uh, batteries. That excites me, I think it's real, and I think uh, we're starting to see some early adopters get into this space and we're going to start to hear more and more about that in the short term. It's tough to deal with the whole energy supply demand problem because there's not really one answer for, for this issue. So we kind of have to research everything. Maybe something doesn't look as promising right now, but in the future if we keep on working on it, it may be a lot better. Uh, energy is just, it's going to become a main issue and if we can start thinking about it now in the future, we're going to have a much easier time dealing with it. Well, they're mingling, get to know each other and perhaps we'll use their different ideas to come up with new businesses and we can invite them back in future years. To find out what other events are going on at the MIT Museum, check the schedule out at web.mit.edu slash museum. Is there an electric car in your future? One of the main technological challenges to the widespread use of electric vehicles is limited battery life. But at MIT's Laboratory for Electromagnetic and Electronic Systems, new research is promising a viable alternative to conventional batteries, the ultracapacitor. Research is fascinating in that you often end up doing something you never expected to be doing. We start with the basic capacitor. They're very, very effective in that you can charge and discharge them indefinitely. They store energy just like a battery, but they store much less energy than a battery does, not enough to be useful in electronic devices. Now, an ultracapacitor is a great improvement over an ordinary capacitor. An ultracapacitor has about 1 25th the energy of a battery. We were simply looking at ultracapacitors to see if they would be useful to automobile manufacturers. And we made the connection that perhaps we could take an, an old product, a capacitor, and make that old product in a new way, use a new technology, nanotechnology or uh, nanotube technology, and actually build a product that is better than what's out there before at, uh, at a cost-effective price. What we're doing is taking a capacitor and coating the plates of the capacitor with hair-like nanotubes growing out from the surface of the capacitor plates, the ions which store the electrical charge are attracted into the spaces between the nanotubes, allowing the capacitor to store an amount of energy that's comparable to what is ordinarily stored by a battery. That would be a significant improvement with many, many applications ranging from small devices that could be more quickly recharged to larger devices such as automobiles where the braking energy can be captured in, an, in one of these devices and that braking energy can then be used to accelerate the car and make the overall operation of the automobile much, much more efficient. Recently, MIT hosted a parade of alternative vehicles as the Alt Wheels Caravan pulled up at the Stata Center Amphitheater. Alt Wheels is uh, New England's biggest alternative sustainable transportation festival. 
this is the fourth year at which we've organized Alt Wheels. And the goal is to bring together different sustainable transportation technologies and showcase them as options to people. This year at Alt Wheels, we had a very wide range of technologies on display. We had several different fuel cell cars, which is kind of the long-term technology options that, that is on the horizon. Several of the electric cars, the plug-in hybrid vehicles, uh, where you can plug it into the wall and get electricity to charge batteries and also have a small gasoline engine. We had several different uh, biodiesel, ethanol, as well as straight vegetable oil operated vehicles. And uh, a lot of those generate a lot of interest. Many times people watch or see or think about energy situation and then say, oh God, but what can I do? Because it seems so big and so difficult a thing to get your arms around. But car buyers play a very important role. Uh, in fact, I would claim that they play the primary role in making sure what type of vehicle options are available for purchase. And so it's consumers' responsibility to vote with their wallet and pay and purchase those more fuel-efficient vehicles. MIT has decided to tackle uh, the energy challenge uh, over a long-term period. MIT, being kind of the innovative place that it is, uh, should not only just focus on supply-side technologies, but also look at many of these policy issues and uh, challenges that are surrounding the energy problem of today. Alt Wheels was co-hosted by MIT's Environmental Programs Office and by MIT's Laboratory for Energy and the Environment. For more information, check out altwheels.org. That's all for now. For ZigZag, I'm Marsha Bolton. I'll see you next time. Bye.